Hey guys, it's JW. Just uh, just got here, my first shift of the day at work, and um, thought I'd jump on. And don't really have anything in particular to say other than just an update on the wound. Still not sleeping at night. The wound, as soon as I hit, as soon as I go to bed, the pain just kicks in. And uh, one of the symptoms of uh, neuropathy is that, for some people, is that even a light sheet on their body will will kickstart the pain and the, the burning and the stinging. And so, uh, you know, I've been trying to figure out everything, and I was exhausted last night. I did. I think initially I went out for about an hour and a half, and then the pain kicked in, and I couldn't I couldn't get back to sleep. I mean, I get I've been getting on average, maybe two, two and a half hours sleep a night. You know, I, I fall asleep, I wake up, and uh, every time I wake up, I pop a turmeric to try to keep the pain manageable anyway. And, um, you know, it does help a little bit. It helps a lot during the day, um, I should say. But at night, the pain is, is high level at night, and, um, you know, the turmeric doesn't really do a whole lot for it. And it's very discouraging right now. So uh, anyway, I'm off to the wound center tomorrow. So not that they're, they don't really, you know, deal with my pain. <laughs> I mean, they sympathize with me. They're nice people and everything. Don't get me wrong. They're real nice people. And, um, but, you know, it's not their, it's not their deal. So, uh, you know, they, they look at the, uh, they look at the wound. They measure the wound. I uh, see if it's um, getting bigger, smaller, or, you know, remaining um, stagnant. And uh, last week was the first week in, in a while that it had, um, it had gotten smaller. So that was a good sign, you know, and I, I think the wound is healing. I wash it and clean it every single day. I change the, change the dressing every single day. I take meticulous care of it. I, you know, I make sure that Surrounding areas are clean. Everything's clean. So I think I'm... And they they told me, you know, that the wound looks nice and clean. And that they just wish it would kind of, you know, get a little bit smaller every week. So I'm hoping tomorrow. It looks... It's hard to tell when you, you know, you're measuring in millimeters. But it looks... If it doesn't look smaller, it looks no worse than the same. But I'm hoping it's a little bit smaller. And I noticed there's a lot more dead skin around it. Hoping that's a good sign that uh, the new skin's coming in, and the dead skin's falling off, and, uh, and you know, you, I look at the. Uh, it's funny when you get the insurance. Um, Medicare sends me the uh, summary of what they've paid out, and up until this wound thing, I mean, I would go years without, you know, maybe fifty, seventy-five bucks or something for a couple of checkups I had maybe, but now it's. Uh, there's a lot being charged on it because of this wound thing and surgery and all that sort of stuff. But I get a kick out of the... Uh, I remove... Sometimes I remove the dead skin myself. You know, all the time I remove some of it, not all of it. But I'm able to, you know, wipe it off or cut it off sometimes. But uh, when I see what they charge to uh, remove the dead skin when they send it to the insurance company, it's like 650 bucks. It takes them you know, under a minute. And, and, and again, I'm not accusing them of any kind of fraud or anything. It's just, it's the way the system works. You know, it's, um, it's a lot of wasted money and, uh, it's, uh, it is what it is, I guess, but I don't, um, it's another reason I'm not a real big proponent of allopathic medicine. I know I keep harping on that, but it's a fact. I, I've seen too much, I guess. I pay attention. A lot of people don't even look at the bills. They say the main insurance covers it. You know, well, your insurance covers it, but, you know, that's why that's why the whole system is a mess right now. Nobody really pays attention as long as they, as long as it's not coming out of their pockets. But in, in, in the long run, it's coming out of our pockets. Uh, the insurance costs go up. So, you know, not that I'm going to report them or anything. It's I'm sure it's pretty standard for what... And anyway, my wife got all nerved up about one time. She um, 
she saw something that she thought was out of whack, you know, for the amount of money they charged on one of the bills they sent me. And she calls the insurance company, and they just, like, blew her off. They don't care. They don't care. It's all, it's all tied in. The insurance company's getting money from the government, and the medical people are getting it from the insurance, from the insurance company, and... And, and the whole thing, you know, it all comes back to us. We are the government. We are the taxpayers. So in the end, we're paying it uh, with our insurance costs going up, and we're paying it um, with our taxes. So anyway, the buses are coming, and i got to blow out of here. So I just wanted to say thanks for listening, and uh, hope you're all doing well. Talk to you soon.